Hello beautiful, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hey, I'm Chanel. If you're not new, well thank you for coming back. So, we're going to jump right into this haul video. Now, once again, if you're new, please go ahead and consider subscribing. Make sure your bell notification is on. And if you enjoy haul videos, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. So, we're going to jump right into it. Right before we jump into this video, let me go ahead and tell you what is currently on my face. And I would like you guys' feedback, and hopefully y'all can give it to me pretty soon. So, on my eyelids right now, I am currently using my, my Pure Palette. You guys have seen me use this palette many, many times. So this is the palette I currently have on my lids today. I'm using my Jelly Pop Primer from, um, well, this is the Dewy Primer from e.l.f cosmetics and I'm actually testing out right now um, the elf camel CC cream and I have my opinions on it okay so on this side right here the the deeper shade right here you can see right there that is just a CC cream I didn't set it down I didn't do nothing okay um, uh, don't, don't, don't worry about that right there yeah <laughs> and then on this side I actually place my bronzer on top of the CC cream and I actually applied it with my fingers so so now that that is out of the way we're gonna go ahead and jump into this unboxing you guys as you guys can see um, I do have my uh, other Ulta box right here now I will let you know I actually I know you guys know that Becca's going out of business y'all right so my favorite primer of all times for my oily skin is from Becca so probably over like the next couple months you guys will see me um, stocking up on that particular primer if you don't know what primer I'm talking about I'm talking about the Becca ever matte poreless primer I'll will put a little picture up on the screen um, yeah so I'm letting you know that I purchased that too it's not here and I most likely will not be hauling that <laughs> for you guys, but I'm just letting you guys know what I also picked up. So first things first is this little package here. I was not expecting this until she messaged me. I'm talking about Miss Tina Delgado and asked me, did I get a package? And I was like, no. So I ended up having hubby, I text hubby and I asked him to go to the P.O. box and check the P.O. box and this was in there. And yeah, girl, I opened it. Okay. Um, so I've had this for about a week and I'm going to unbox it with you guys. So here we go. And this is for, she sent it to me for my birthday. It was super, super cute. She sent me a little birthday card. Super, super cute. And it's going to go up right here on my wall along with the rest of my cards. So first, I'm going to show you the sample she sent me because she put on a little sticky note on here that says I wanted to share some samples with you so I was super super happy you guys I love samples and since I have I'm actually been traveling and spending the night at my brother-in-law's house you know I need a little uh, you know travel bag for that and I recently just came back from California I need a travel bag for that so I love samples because yeah I don't gotta take all my stuff with me so, she sent me two of these Raw Shea Butter Body Lotion Samples. Super excited about that. She also sent me this Natured Inspired um, Botanical, The Power of Plants, 100% Organic with Rose Hip and Lavender. Um, it's a restoring overnight facial oil. You guys, I love facial oils. Got two of those. Now this here, I'm happy I got these um, these little samples because I've been really intrigued with this brand. And this is the Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream. Um, it's for your body, for very dry, sensitive skin. Um, dermatologist recommended for 24 hour intense hydration. She sent me two of these. I'm super excited about this because I've actually wanted to try this brand and I just did not want to go and spend the money on full size products and realize I don't like it. So. Super happy about that. 
Now let me show you what she like really sent me, y'all. I'm gonna put this <laughs> right there. So she sent the hashtag give them Lala Beauty. I'm guessing that's the brand. And this is a highlighter, you guys. I have not swatched it. I just saw it and I thought it was like so cute. So this is what the packaging looks like. It looks so pretty. Have you guys noticed like I zoomed you guys out? <laughs> I don't know. I kind of like this. I kind of like this view a lot, a lot more right now. Yeah, so we're going to pop this op open. It has a nice size mirror and that, ooh, there we go. That is what the highlighter looks like. It looks really, really pretty. Like this can actually like be like a blush top. Ooh, that is soft. A blush topper. Oh, you guys, you guys see that? That is so pretty. It's like a pinky gold shade. It's like, it will be like a pretty blush topper. But at the same time, it's a highlighter in the springtime. Yes, that is so pretty. That's so pretty. Can't wait to play with this. The next item she sent me is from the brow bar. You guys, I love doing my brows. And this is the brow, <laughs> and this is the bombshell brow kit. It looks like this. This is in the shade medium. And this is what the packaging looks like. You can see everything very reflective. And, ooh, her, her, her. okay. So we're gonna cover up the mirror. So I can show you guys what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. So it comes with uh, a highlight. Like so you can put like that extra highlight underneath your brows. It comes with, um, I think this is a brow wax. And then it comes with two shades of brow powder. You got a lighter brown and a darker brown. It comes with a pencil. It comes with a spoolie and a brush on this end which I probably won't use that because it's so super small. Oops. And it comes with tweezers. <laughs> so it comes with these little gold tweezers. They're very, very pretty. Can't wait to try this out too. Lastly, she sent me the Too Faced Razzle Dazzle Berry Eyeshadow Palette. So this is what it looks like. As you guys can see. Uh, yeah, I opened one of these sides. So I, I opened this and I, when I was like, I was like, hold on, wait, I remember this palette. This palette is supposed to, I mean, su is supposed to smell good. So I was like, ooh. So this is what the palette looks like. It looks so pretty, you guys. And then on the back, it's just very, very reflective. And it sh shares the shade colors. Have not swatched this. I probably won't swatch it just yet. Um, I want to do it in a video. Um... I, I can smell the palette right now. It smells so good, you guys. It smells so good. So here is the shades. You guys are so pretty. Those shades are so pretty. I cannot wait to play with this palette. It's so pretty. Thank you so much, Tina. Oh, this palette smells so good. Next, I want to unbox this baby right here. So I've actually had this baby probably for a month, y'all. And I have yet to unbox it. I have yet to to get into the box like I've taken the plastic off and everything but I picked this up at Walmart and I believe this was five dollars and this is beauty through unity and this is for black history month so this is the black history month um, collection from Walmart this is the Walmart beauty box it's five bucks um, like I said I had this for about a month I got this last month completely forgot to unbox this with you guys um, and I can't wait to show you the box so here is what the box looks like you guys I remember I used to do the target box and this box and I used to just go and uh, purchase them yeah and I haven't done it in a while but I saw this box and the cover of the box like intrigued me to purchase it so I love that picture so the first thing I picked up I mean the first thing that I'm picking up out of the box is the tailored beauty curl antidote curling custard right here it's their golden herbal collection and it's two ounces no harmful ingredients no parabens no sulfates no silicones no mineral oils so 
I'm thinking I will probably use this. It has neem oil in it, you guys. So if you guys are into neem oil, you might want to um, try this out. I don't really twist my hair, but I do braid my hair. So um, I think I'm going to try this out. Uh, the next item, the next item in the box is from Shea Moisture. Now I know Shea Moisture is kind of, uh, they were black owned or they are black owned. I don't know, but this box is basically curated to black owned businesses. So I'm not really too sure about Shea Mo Moisture, but I do have my personal uh, opinion about them from like a couple years ago. And I really don't use their products, but this one came in the box here. And this is their Coconut and Hibiscus Illuminating Body Lotion. Um, for dull skin. So I'll probably try this out and give you guys my opinion about that because it is a lotion. It is not a hair product. So I'll probably use this. Yeah. So the next item, which I've tried this item many, many times, there's a deep conditioner and a leave-in conditioner. I really do love from this brand and I just have never repurchased it. And it's from the brand Eden. This is their leave-in conditioner. It's just a coconut shea butter one. Um, it refreshes and renews your hair. Now the one I tried, like I said, I, I tried it like probably about a year or two ago when I was able to go to Gen Generation Beauty and you know, all those different beauty thingies. Um, and I would buy it in a tub <laughs> and just stick my hand in there and put it all over my hair and I loved it. And um, yes, from the brand Eden, so I'm super happy I got this. This here, I think this is going to be like my first ever item from this brand and I've always wanted to try this brand out and every time I put them in my cart like I end up getting distracted or I don't purchase anything you guys this is from Black Opal this is their automatic eyeliner pencil I'm super excited to try this out and this is in the shade coffee bean which is not quite black black it looks like more of a brown shade super excited to get this I want to see what it looks like I have not pulled it out oh it is brown it's brown it's brown let's see it's like a brown shade let's see Ooh. Ooh, that's a pretty deep brown shade oh it's not black but it's brown it's very pretty so the next item in the box and the final item and it's kind of inspired me to try out a little bit more of their products, which I have already. And I'll leave a video somewhere up here where I have tried their face tint. It's from the lip bar, but they're also known as TLB. Um, and this is vegan, cruelty free. This is for your lips. This is their vegan liquid matte lipstick. And it looks like this. This came in the box. And this is the shade Boss, Boss Lady. So, I really want, oh, that's a shade too. I really wanted to um, try this brand. Like, I've heard of them, never tried it. So, that's why I went ahead and bought me some items. And this here, I think this here might be full size. Ooh, that is a pretty shade. I know I'm supposed to be doing Ulta, y'all. I know, but I had to get the rest of these these little ones out of the way. So the next little package I have, I've seen this all over Instagram, you guys. And I want to call it, I want to say it's the Instagram foundation. <laughs> and I've seen this like popping up in my emails, on my Instagram feed for probably a year and a half now. And I just never did it, but I know my sister purchased from them because she wanted to try their foundation and she's not really into makeup I never got her opinion on it so I went ahead and tried it and I've had this probably for about four days now so I need to hair up and test it out because if I don't like it I'm gonna send it back and I picked up the Il Masca wait how do you Il Maquillage okay it's not the Il Masca the Il Maquillage foundation so it came in this little bag here and it says, there's no such thing as too much. Woo. And inside the bag, this is the little box. It came in, you guys. Very, very sleek. Very, very simple. Okay. That's it. And then when you open the box, you guys. 
this is how it looks i'm gonna do a full try on and unboxing again in another video very soon um it comes with some cards in here now i ordered their foundation and their concealer and then they sent me some extra stuff that came in the box i will show all that in the um try on portion but i wanted to go ahead and show you guys the foundation so this is how the foundation comes very very pretty packaging okay and the packaging is magnetic and here is the foundation inside this is a glass container i have not taken off the wrapper yet but as you can see just from the frosted glass i'm kind of unsure about this i'll give you more information about this foundation once i do the try on because i might have to return it for a different shade y'all i don't know um i also got the concealer that's in here as well this is what the concealer looks like it's a pretty pretty tube there's like a little see-through window. So we're gonna test all these out. On to Ulta. And I already told you guys I had already ordered the that Becca primer. So it's just not here. <laughs> Taking all the bubbles and stuff out. Okay, so I received another one of these Too Faced little samples of their mascara so I'll put this one in a giveaway which I'm going to be holding a holding a giveaway shortly and everything else because there's not that many in here I'm just going to pull it all out so what I first got in my hand I'm just going to show you because it's in my hand right now I went ahead and I mentioned in a previous video that I need to order me some more sponges and like I said I heard it yeah put this in before I knew Boxy Charm was sending me some. Well, actually, no. I put this order in afterwards. Anyways, you guys. So, I got me some more, some Beauty Bakery sponges here. Let's go ahead and take this out the bag. So, this is what the little carton looks like. Very, very cute. And there's six sponges that come in this little egg carton. Ooh, and they're all individually wrapped. These are the cards. So, I got two, like, dark they're like skin tone shades so i got some deep dark sponges i got some medium sponges and so i got some light sponges over here i got six of them super excited that i'm stocking up on my sponges because i need to replace some um i wanted to try this honest beauty gentle con conjac conjac sponge with pink um it some, has some kind of pink clay in here. And this is just a facial sponge. I can help to exfoliate my face. And we are going to open you. It says use AM and PM alone or with clean cleansers. Soak sponge in water until it softens. Then gently squeeze. Massage face and um, using circular motions. When done, rinse sponge thoroughly. Thoroughly hang dry and store in a cool um ventilated area replace every two to three months so this is what the sponge looks like it's just um a little face facial sponge you guys super excited can't wait to try this out um i'm into like trying out new the items to use to blur my pores and you know for primers and stuff so i picked up the revolution or the makeup revolution liquid powder pore blurring makeup serum so this is what it is i'm gonna take it out the box it's a makeup serum that dries down to a powder effect supports skin's hydration um helping to mattify and blur the pores so that's the other reason why i want to try because we're in spring and summer's around the corner and y'all i need stuff to mattify my oily skin so that's why I picked this up. I don't really remember how much this was, but this is what it looks like. It's a very, very pinky looking bottle with a rose gold um, little thing here. So it has pink clay and rose in it. Can't wait to try this out. What do you smell like? It smells nice. It has like a scent of rose in there. 
And I'm, assuming, I'm, I'm going to assume, because there's a darker shade at the bottom, that I should probably shake this up before I use it. The last item that I picked up in this box, like I said, you guys, we're in spring. It's going into um, summertime. I wanted to also try, even though I haven't tried the other one yet, and I already hauled that one, you guys. Um, it's the Too Faced Born This Way Matte Oil-Free Oil Controlling Waterproof Transfer Resistant 24 hour undetectable long wear foundation <sighs> that was a lot said so yeah I want to try this out now if you guys haven't noticed I am really into complexion products not really into a lot of eyeshadow palettes because I get them through BoxyCharm and I love the ones I do have which I'm going to be doing a declutter soon but yeah I am truly into complexion products Alright guys, so that's all I wanted to share with you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're new here, once again, I'm Chanel. Thank you so much for coming by. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Please go ahead and consider subscribing and stay for a little while. Anyways, that's all I want to share with you guys today. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye!